Netflix's cheer was a huge success. In the process, coach Monica Aldama, pictured here, became a huge star. She would make appearances on national television and radio, including an interview with Ryan Seacrest, a sit-down with comedian, actor, and podcast host Whitney Cummings, a feature in Women's Health, an eight-and-a-half-minute interview with Ellen DeGeneres in January of 2022, and time on Good Morning America with former football player and GMA host Michael Strahan. Sadly, Aldama's tenure has now been clouded with doubt over serious allegations levied against her. Maddie Lane, pictured, is bringing litigation against Aldama. The former cheerleader claims a cover-up took place. Per the suit, Lane asserts she was essayed in her dorm room by a male cheerleader in fall 2021. After reporting the attack to Aldama, Lane alleges the coach said, let's not make this a big deal. I want what's best for you, and I will help you cheer wherever you want. After Aldama's comment, MySanAntonio.com Steven Santana would report the cheerleader would quit the squad altogether. The suit also claims female cheerleaders wish Lane would not report what occurred, adding they appeared to intimidate her by following her around campus to confirm she would not speak of it. TMZ Sports, via the lawsuit, wrote of more allegations from Lane, an older cheer squad member who she says told her, you just need to drink it off and get your mind off it and we don't tell anyone, we just keep it to ourselves. In addition, campus police, per WRAL, citing the suit, told the alleged victim, quote, this type of thing happens all the time, and discourage her from reporting the incident. Also named in the suit, Michael Landers, the director of athletics at Navarro College, Elizabeth A. Pillins, director of paralegal studies and a coordinator for Title IX offenses, and Navarro College as a whole. Lane has accused Salvatore Salvo Amico, a fellow cheerleader and teammate, of essaying her. When her boyfriend picked her up on campus, the senior cheer members followed them per the suit. The veterans pointed guns at plaintiff and her boyfriend and threatened to kill them for reporting the assault the couple alleges. Aldama would release the following statement. I have worked year after year to make sure Navarro Cheer is a safe space for all cheerleaders. We do not condone or cover up reports of sexual harassment and assault. As an athletics coach and Navarro College employee, I take all Title IX matters very seriously, especially reports of sexual misconduct. I am a rules follower. I always follow all appropriate procedures regarding reporting and responding to any allegations of misconduct in the Navarro Cheer program. I make sure to report and encourage others to report any allegations of harassment, discrimination, or assault to appropriate authorities and officials. I would never remain silent or ask any student to remain silent if I were aware that any sexual misconduct occurred in the Cheer program. Because there is a pending lawsuit against me, I have no further comment at this time. Another member of the school's cheer team would be in hot water that made national headlines, Jerry Harris. The breakout star of Netflix's show would be sentenced to 12 years in prison on federal charges. NBC News would have a lengthy write-up on Harris and why he was deemed unfit for society considering his behavior with underage members of the public.